Well, let's just start with talking about bottlenecks on the African continent when it comes to these ICTs, what you see the main ones are. I, I'm sure you, you are aware that uh, a lot of undersea fiber has been built in Africa on both Atlantic and Indian Ocean. This is, you know, undersea fiber that's connecting most of the cities in the coast of the African continent, right? Africa is a very big continent, 30 million square kilometers, as you know. Now, the critical question is, how do you take that cable from Maputo to Harare? How do you take that cable from Luanda to Malange or from Mombasa to Kigali? Now, you have to dig on land and be able to connect major cities in Africa. As you know, 52 cities in Africa have more than a million people each. Now, you need to bring this connectivity into there. Now, for many years, there hasn't been this infrastructure. So that's where the bottleneck is. And that's why we believe that there's a huge opportunity to build this fiber infrastructure on the ground and to build this wireless infrastructure and to build the satellite infrastructure to be able to connect all parts of Africa, for instance, into this digital society that we talk about. Well, now, this, it sounds like a lot of graft, but it also sounds like a lot of, a lot of money that's going to go into it. So do you have a timeline? I mean, as you know, what we said was that we are working towards the first close, I mean, in the next uh, almost month or so, and then the last close, which will probably happen 18 months later, and aiming to close at 500 million US dollars. So let's, uh, w when I talk about timeline, I would like to also know, when would you like to see all this connection happen? Oh, no, the, the pipeline of, of our respective businesses we will invest in is $2 billion. We already, over the last two years, have been working on a number of these projects one in West Africa, some of them in West Africa, in East Africa, and Southern Africa. I mean, the way the fund will be structured is that we will have, you know, offices in Johannesburg, in Nairobi, and in Lagos and Ghana, and in Accra. And that's where, for instance, if I take talk about East Africa, you know, the Nairobi office will coordinate infrastructure development covering most of the East African countries. So a lot of work has gone in, I mean, we have identified already a lot of businesses we will invest in. And as I've said, you know, this pipeline is something we've been working on already. I mean, this is a culmination of a two-year uh, work that we have been doing, both in talking to potential LPs and also talking to a number of companies that we can invest in. Are there priority regions right now? You, you, I mean, you, t you talk about you know the coastline. You know that seems to be mm -hmm. seems to be probably the easiest to get into. Yeah. W what are your priority regions? I mean, as I've said, I mean we we look at sub-Saharan Africa into three distinct sub areas. One, the eastern part of sub-Saharan Africa, and then two, the western part and the southern part. So the way in which we build infrastructure is to create these centers and be able to expand. I mean, if, let me just talk about East Africa as an example. So this will be Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, you know, Rwanda, I mean, Djibouti, and uh, places like, uh, for instance, uh, Ethiopia coming down, basically. These are all areas that require a lot of infrastructure. Africa in 2016 will have one billion mobile phones. And all these phones have to have access to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and to be able to do this, I mean, so that you can be able to pull down YouTube videos quickly, you need this infrastructure built. And, and that's what basically we'll be doing. So are we going to see, I mean, one of the issues right now is broadband cost. Are we going to see oh that yeah. obviously it's oh yes. going to impact and come down drastically? Absolutely. Okay. I mean, one of the things, I mean, the business models we're looking at is that of infrastructure sharing. I mean, whereby, you know, we build an infrastructure and different operators share that infrastructure. Those are some of the things that, you know, this fund will be looking at. So, so let's talk about, you've talked about businesses that you're already roping in. Mm -hmm. What does a business have to have in place for you to say, we're going to partner with you and we're going to be able to do this project with you? What are the key things you'd be looking for you in mean these good management, for instance, good knowledge of the industry, you know, profitability is very important to us and also addressing some of the key issues, developmental issues that we see in the African continent of ensuring that they can be able to provide connectivity to people 
in cities in Africa and to people in rural areas. So are you going to be are you going to be looking for businesses? So, so for instance you want to go into into you were talking about Harare for instance, you want to go into Zimbabwe, are you going to look at, at, at local companies or are you going to be looking at business at businesses well it doesn't matter where they come from as long as they're able to get there. We we have three types of businesses we're looking at. One is what we call matured businesses. So it could be a business that's operating maybe in Nairobi already or in the greater part of Kenya or in that region, for instance. Or we can look at a company that has been there for 10 or more years. Or we will look at companies that I would call brownfield, which are more companies that have been started recently that are maturing. And in some cases, we will look at, look at new projects, which we will develop ourselves, where we believe that there's an opportunity here maybe to build a fiber link between Maputo and, uh, and Lilongwe, for instance, because there's a need to provide communications there. If there is an appetite in that region, or for instance, there are customers who will, be, who will take some offtakes of the infrastructure. These are some of the models and projects that we do. Well, thank you so much. It's so interesting. We'd love to talk to you some more, but we have run out of time. Thank no, you so thank much you for coming much. in.